New Year, everyone. So happy to be here and be back home and back in Florida and sharing a get ready with me. I just got back a couple of days ago. I am recording this on Saturday. We were able to get back home on Thursday and that was an ordeal. So I'm, I thought, well, I have to get ready. So I am going to have a chit chat with you, let you know about my trip, stuff that I did, and um, see if you want to share with me what you did during the holidays and maybe share some special moments with me. I would love to hear from all of you. Oh my goodness, what a trip this was. This was absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, that doesn't look real pretty now, does it? All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Everything that I'm going to use, I'm going to leave it down below because it's really just to get ready with me. I'm not doing a tutorial or anything like that. But if you have any questions about any of the products that I use, please let me know and you know that I will answer your comments. The first thing that happened was we were supposed to leave on the 21st. I was supposed to get out of school that day at like, I don't know, 1.30, 2 o'clock. And I was going to head home. We had everything packed and we were going to head out. There was an incident at school and there was an electrical fire in the sixth grade building. Well, obviously, we were evacuated from the school. The kids couldn't get anything out of the room. I couldn't get any of my stuff, and everything was a total mess. Long story short, I didn't get home till probably four o'clock on that day. We were going to leave at two o'clock. We ended up leaving probably around six o'clock, somewhere around there. Got on the road, Fine, no incident, everything was smooth sailing until we got to, it was somewhere like Arkansas or Alabama, somewhere around there. And by this time it was, it was late. There was such fog, there was rain. It was, I just couldn't believe that what we had gone through that day. And then we were taking Peabody with us. We could only stay in certain hotels where they allow dogs, regardless of how big or how little your dog is. So, anyway, we get there. Oh my gosh, that room was, it stunk so badly. It was, I have stayed in lots of hotels that allow pets. And they, for the most part, are always really clean. You can't even detect that there have been animals there. Well, not this one. This one was pretty bad. And I thought, oh geez, but we were tired and it had been a long night driving. Then the following day we head out and again, really bad weather. When we hit right around, I think Missouri, that was pretty bad. We made it to Topeka without any further incident. The night that we stayed, I think it was in Missouri. It was a really nice place. I, I couldn't have been happier. We did arrive late because of the weather conditions and whatnot, but anyway, it, it was not bad by any means. And the hotel was really nice and everyone was just as sweet as can be. Well, I wasn't, you know, I, I live in Florida and I'm not thinking about the bad weather anywhere. So what did I take? I took sweatshirts and I took a sweat jacket, you know, the one kind, like a hoodie with the zipper, I took one of those. And a couple of sweaters. I didn't take any coats with me. Oh my gosh. When we got to Missouri, it was like 20 degrees. I was freezing. Peabody was freezing. She's never been in the cold weather. But anyway, we made it to Topeka and we had a really nice time. We had a beautiful Christmas with the children, um, with the kids. It was awesome. It was just what a holiday was supposed to be like and we were so excited. We were looking, we've been looking for a country home for a really long time and I thought it would be a really good idea to get a home in Kansas because that way I'm close to Stephanie, closer than I am from here from Florida and that way Wayne could be near his uh, older sons and the grandchildren that live in Kansas. So we wanted a home in the Flint Hills in Kansas. 
and we have been searching and searching and searching and our idea is not to leave Florida altogether but while we're both still working we could spend the summers in Kansas and if I want to go to Washington I can or Stephanie can come to me or my son and Christy could go and visit us over there and then we thought well for the holidays the same thing that way all the kids will be in one big house and that that was really our idea well we found the home it's a beautiful well it's a country home it's nothing fancy I didn't want fancy I wanted a country home sitting looking to the Flint Hills just a lot of land around me and we found exactly that and I think that I'll be able to add some pictures for you over here on the side so I'm just over the top excited about the the house and getting it all ready and doing the whole country decoration we're gonna go back in during my spring break and take furniture that we had originally bought here from Kansas we're going to take it back to Kansas because it's going to look a lot better in a country home in the Midwest than it does in a condo in Florida. And I think, you know, those of you that have been with me for a while, you know exactly what furniture I'm talking about. The furniture that you could always see in my, um, my first few videos, that brown, dark brown furniture, all of those are antiques. They're beautiful, but they just don't go in a Florida home. I am so excited. I can't, I cannot wait. I want to do it all country, you know, that distressed kind of wood. I really want to do that. And we have the closing in February, but during spring break, that's when we're going to take the furniture. Anyway, I've been looking, I've been looking at uh, antique, sh not antique shops, but places, flea markets and garage sales and that kind of thing. Chrissy is wonderful refurbishing furniture, so she's going to do a lot of the refurbishing for me. And uh, I'm excited about that. Well, from there, we stayed in Kansas probably until like the 30th. The temperature was in the low teens. Our last day in Kansas, I think it was like 7 degrees. I don't even remember the last time I felt 7 degrees. Well, we were headed to see Wayne's other son who lives in South Carolina. We got stuck. I, I guess in Tennessee, it was pouring, it was icy, it was like 10 degrees, and we got stuck on top of a mountain for two hours. That was not fun at all. This was on the 31st, because we had to spend the night somewhere on the 30th. Well, they finally cleaned up the mountain, they treated the, they treated it, it was a really steep mountain. So they couldn't let cars go through. Well, we finally made it through. We stopped. We walked Peabody. We got some coffee. We still had probably about another hour and a half left before we got to Wayne's other son, son's house. When we were about 30 minutes, it was probably 11 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock or 11.30. We were, we were in town in South Carolina. We are waiting, we waited for the green light. Green light came on and Wayne always waits a couple of seconds before he actually goes. And he waited and we started going through the green light and a car that was coming in the opposite direction to make a left turn cut in front of us. And Wayne tried not to hit him, so we swerved the car to the right. The guy did not hit his brakes, he kept on going. Long story short, we ended what stopped us was the brick building. The car, the rental car that we had was totaled. I am all full of bruises. Wayne's got a broken rib. I thought that Peabody, thankfully, was in the back seat in a crate. So she wasn't hurt, but she did hurt her paw. I thought it might be fractured, but I took it to the vet yesterday and it wasn't fractured. But thank the Lord, we made it through. We're all, we're all good. Just the bruises. I, I still can't believe all the bruises that I have. I guess it's from the seatbelt. I have bruises right up here and across my, my midsection. I have never been bruised like that in my life. It, it was really bad. So we called Wayne's son. We went to 
his house. Well, he picked us up and then we went to his house. And the following day, then we had to get another rental car. Then on the way back home, we were going to, we left South Carolina on the 3rd. Now, South Carolina from us, from where we were in South Carolina, is only like seven hours away. So we thought, okay, well, we'll leave at six o'clock in the morning. We'll make it with plenty of good time to Florida, you know, late afternoon or something. And that was really our plan. There was such bad weather that at 12 noon, we were, we started off, I think it was near Greenville. And we started to Florida at six in the morning. At 12 noon, we, we hadn't hit the border to Georgia, the Georgia state line. We were so stuck. All, all the roads were closed. The bridges going into Savannah were closed. There was so much snow. And if I could add some footage somewhere, I will do that. For those of you that have not seen my Instagram or my Facebook, oh my goodness, was that, I, I just couldn't believe it. Well, now here we are with the dog in the snowstorm, nowhere to go. Thankfully, we found the hotel. <laughs> and that's where we spent the third. Well, we spent the third there. And then the following day on the fourth, we just got up early and we headed back to Florida and made it back home with no further incidents. <laughs> Thank goodness, I just, I just couldn't believe it. I honestly, I could not believe what we had gone through. It was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, it's like, what else? What else? What else is going to go on? I'm sure none of you, at least I'm hoping that none of you had the excitement that I had. Oh my goodness, if it wasn't bad weather, it was the traffic or the roads closed and the accident, it was, it was just bad. It really, really was. And I'm like, okay, I am just so ready to get back to Florida. It is what it is, right? I mean, there's nothing that could be controlled. So that's one of the reasons why I've been so late in answering all the comments. I had hoped that I could answer some comments while I was on the road. Well, trust me, when we, when we got to South Carolina, after the accident, the last thing that I wanted to do was be on the computer. I was lying down most of the time, and I did go on Instagram. I probably went on Facebook. I was so shaken up. So in the meantime, I did open up a, or not in the meantime, on another note, I opened up a Facebook page. I have a Facebook, and it's for my family and friends, and Friends that I have from high school visit me there. But I thought, well, you know what? I should really have another one so I could communicate with all of you. And if I want to do like a really short video or you want to send me one, we could do that. We can share maybe makeup because we can't do that here. We can share products that we've bought, questions that we have each other. So I'm going to leave the link to that Facebook page listed down in the description. In case you're interested, I would love to have you visit with me there. I thought that would be pretty cool. And if you have any ideas about videos or something that you want to see, or you just have questions like right away and you don't want to wait until I come on here, you can certainly ask me on the Facebook. Anyway, so that is what's new with me. I did order some more makeup, of course, because I am a makeup junkie, and you all know that. Yeah, I really wanted to talk about that. A lot of times, um, I don't know, I heard someone recently say, I don't know if it was maybe at school or I heard it somewhere that, oh yeah, you just buy all that makeup just for your channel. Well, when I was like 25, I had a friend, she came over to my house and she said to me, you know what, Marlene, if you ever lose your job, you can live for a year just by selling all the makeup that you have. Because I have always, always, as far as I can remember, ever, ever since I had the ability to buy my own makeup, I have bought my own makeup. And before that, I would just bug my mother to death and she would buy me makeup. 
No, I do not buy makeup just because of the YouTube channel. I buy makeup because I really, really like my, I love makeup. I love trying new products. And you know what? It's not like I have drawers upon drawers of, of stuff. I give stuff away. I have, my sister has four daughters, 18 to like 32 that use makeup. And then I've got Stephanie and Christy that obviously love makeup. And it's, yeah, why not? You know what I don't use, I give to them. One of my beautiful subscribers, Charlene, she suggested this rose hip oil and I bought it. I'll leave the link to that rose hip oil down below. Oh my goodness, I only purchased a little one because I wanted to try it. That stuff is amazing. Charlene, if you are watching, thank you, thank you so much. I. I am over the top amazed. And you know, all I took for my trip was I took a squalene, I took the rosehip oil, moisturizer, the biogenis, the eye cream, the bye bye under eye. Oh, and I took the Matrixel 6, whatever it's called. That's all I took. And all of that kept my skin so incredibly moisturized and hydrated because I'm going to tell you, and I have normal skin, but in the, when the weather is seven degrees and below, you really need to hydrate. Well, I would apply the Matrixel and then over the Matrixel, I applied, I think it was the rose hip. And then I would do the squalene around my eyes and the lips and add a couple of drops into the moisturizer and then apply the moisturizer. My skin never dried up. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. I really need some brightening there, that's for sure. Did anybody get anything special for holidays that you want to share with me what you got? I would love to know. My husband gave me some more charms for my Pandora bracelet. And I think he ordered a new camera for me. And he got me a new chair for my desk. That is really nice because, I don't know, maybe I, I haven't told you, but I record with a camcorder. Yeah, that's why you never see me saying, oh, my battery went out because it's a, it's a camcorder. It, it's not a, whatever it's called, a DSLR or something like that. Yeah, that's not it. This is just a regular camcorder. So it's always plugged in. But that'll be nice. I hope he did get it for me. Well, you you guys will know because you'll see the difference when, when I, if I start recording with it. So this happened. You know, I talked about this in my favorites. This is the NARS blush. And I always open it up and I do this. And I put it on my hand, right? I opened it up like that. Well, the other day I was watching Angie from Hot and Flashy. And she said... She was mentioning the same product, and she's like, a viewer told her, hey, that's got a pump. It's got a pump. I didn't know. So I told her. I, well, I didn't tell her. I put it in the comment. She doesn't know who the heck I am. So I put it in the comment, and I said, oh, wow, I didn't know that had a pump. And then somebody responded, some other viewer responded, me, me three, and then another one came on, me four. Nobody knew that it had a pump she said she didn't like to use the pump and now I could see why because you with this blush you need the tiniest drop and when you use the pump you get an awful lot of product actually I guess it's not that bad I was supposed to go back to work well I wasn't it wasn't that I was supposed to but most teachers went into school yesterday on Friday just to get the classroom set up. Well, you know, that wasn't happening for me. I was still, my knee, oh, I forgot to tell you about that. My knee was just absolutely killing me because I really, I really hurt it uh, in the accident. I guess I banged it towards the, or on the glove compartment and it split my knee. It was that bad. 
Thank you all so much for spending some time with me and keeping me company while I have this, while I do this get ready with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the chit chat. I love doing these videos. I hope everyone is starting the new year just absolutely amazing with all of your wishes coming true. I hope 2018 is filled with love and laughter and everything wonderful that you all so much deserve. I'm so looking forward to this year and have so many plans for the channel. We'll see how it goes, but more than anything, we're here to have fun and we have such a great group here. No drama. Everyone gets along. There's such nice comments and I couldn't be more thankful for all of the subscribers that I have. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and don't forget ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.